What a spectacular day, this day, the first day of school for Philly area kids anyways. The, the man-child went to first grade, so we got to put him on a school bus, talk about ultimate convenience, with like dozens of other kids, and I couldn't help but think back to my six-year-old days when I was newly and totally obsessed with Ninja Turtles. These days are those days. <laughs> anyways, today we're doing Beef Up the Singles soundtrack, Screaming Trees. <laughs> Nearly lost you for Barcode Ali. He's having a good week. I don't play favorites. It's just kind of what came out. Uh, Mark Fletcher, Mud Hungry Guitar, Rockwood, Kara in Canada, and Petri Pietakanen. So here we go. This one's great. Guitars tuned regularly. Now, for the big intro where they smash in, of course, with their bam ba da da bam ba da 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 what you want to do, and the most accurate, I think, uh, best way to do it, is grab your root six major bar chord as a G. So G is the third fret of the E string, and you're going to go three, five, five, four, and you're going to go three strums, down, down, up, and then just kind of smush your pinky finger down so it also gets the G string, and you're going to go one strum that way, it doesn't quite sound like, it sounds like it more quick, and then one back regular. So in context, slow, right, sounds quite a bit much more like it. The bass goes G, 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 C, G, so I know the guitars are trying to get their quickest C in, and sort of the messiness of it is the beauty of it, so... And then up to the A, up to A, two frets higher. And then a big E. Other ways to do that, if you're not to bar chords yet, are if you think of your F shape, right? One, one, two, three. Move it up to G on three, three, four, five. And you can just suspend it for it by putting your pinky finger on the G string, fifth fret, so it would be all. And then up two frets. If you don't want to do that, you could do a G and an A and an E. That would be a perfectly acceptable way to do it too. So there you go, three levels of that. But at any rate, into the verse is now going to be E and we're going to make it an E7. This is kind of the two days of E7 because we just did Imagine like Eddie Vedder style, right? And he had this E7 going. But we're going to leave all three E fingers down. So G string first fret, D string second fret, A string second fret. We're going to add the pinky on the B string third fret. Good strumming pattern for that is down, 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 up, up, down, down, down. A little slower. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, down. Notice that I didn't bother to put my pinky finger to down until the second strum. And just really focused on the E and the A strings for that first big boom. And then we're going to switch to a C7 and kind of the same thing. Uh, you can switch to your C, which is much more familiar than switching to your C7, just like switching to your E is much more familiar than putting your pinky down also. So switch to your C, focus on those low strings, mute your E string with your thumb thusly, and then you don't have to worry about that note ringing out, and then put your pinky finger on the G string third fret. is the and the uh, the little noodlies of note of course he does many variations but here's one that covers sort of most of them and you can move off of it as you like do the B string 10th fret and you're gonna hammer on to the 12th fret from the 10th fret and then pluck the E string 10th fret, so it's a triplet, a triplet. Blueberry, blueberry, blueberry. Three triplets, and then going back to B12, B10, B8, hammer onto the 10th fret and pull off, and end up on G9. Right? Yeah. 
Yeah, so there's our verse. Yeah, of course, going into the chorus, they're all... And then they go power chord on the A string, 7th fret, 5th fret, 3rd fret. That represents an E, because the 7th fret of the A string is E, a D, because the 5th fret of the A string is D, and a C. So you could do the power chords if you want. Or you could just play E, D, C, and then of course they smash in with the C7, G, F, C, C7, G, F, C, C7, there's the rhythm, F, C, And then that's it. Those are all the pieces you need to play uh, Nearly Lost You by the Screaming Trees. The only thing to mention in the chorus, which is we're going to call the thing after... smash smash mash on the uh, on the C7 when it goes back into the sort of intro solo bit and yeah the solo solo is over the verse <laughs> Because it's probably it's a shape we've talked about in one other video, but the odds of you having seen that video are you know very small. So let's talk about it again. Uh, the song, the solo, is in E minor pentatonic. So the usual shape for E minor pentatonic is, of course, find your root E on the E string, and that is the the beginning of our shape, so to speak. And we're gonna go 12 because that's an E, 15, 12, 14. 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 15, 12, 15. That's the shape you know and love. That's the one everybody learns first because it's the easiest one to remember. But there are four more shapes to your E minor pentatonic scale. And when you learn all of them, I'm not just doing this because I have a nervous tick or anything. Uh, when you learn all of them, you can solo in any key anywhere on the neck. So this bit here comes from the shape that begins if this is our usual one, three frets lower, and that shape is nine. That shape is <laughs> 10, 12, 10, 12, 9, 12, 9, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12. So there it is. You see the shapes, the various shapes are convenient for different things. Of course, you can't do that. You could do it. You could do it there, but it doesn't lend itself to doing it quickly, right? It'd be G14, B12, B15. That is not at all. Yeah, so different shapes lend themselves to different little moves, so to speak. And uh, yeah, so there's another minor pentatonic shape for you. And otherwise, do kind of whatever you like in E minor pentatonic. And that is all I have to say about Nearly Lost You by Screaming Trees. <laughs> So, thank you very much for the excellent request, and thank you very much for being here, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye!